Hello, so in this video I want to demonstrate how you can load a um, set of Google Earth placemarks directly into Collect Earth. This way you are able to collect data through Collect Earth on plots that have been pre-selected by the user as opposed to using a random or systematic sampling approach. The user um, is the one in charge of selecting the specific locations where the data will be collected. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is to produce a KML file. If you don't already have a KML file with placemarks, you can produce the KML file directly through, collect, uh, through Google Earth. So for instance, if I want to collect data on mining sites, uh, to localize the mining sites in Google Earth, for instance, here. And the first thing I have to do is create a new folder. A new folder in Google Earth so we can put all the place marks, meaning all the all the points, inside that folder. So I right click in temporary places, I go to add folder. So right click add folder and you give it a name, whatever you want. So mining sites. Okay, now I have my folder mining sites. So with the folder selected, I'm going to create a few place marks. So to create a create a place mark, you use this pin icon in Google Earth. You get this dialog, the pin, you may move the pin so you can place it exactly where you want it and then you give a name to your to your place mark so mine one okay and I can create another one where I can put it here and I call this mine two it's important or well it's advisable to give the place marks meaningful names but they know they should be unique names because uh, it's important that the that the place marks are unique in the database as well so you can do this as much as you want there is no limit on the number of place marks you can import so here I might add some other place marks. Uh, call it, I don't know, we could call it better names than this, but let's just call them like this. Mine 4. Um, I don't know, this area, let's say this is a mine 2. Well, they are pr prospecting. So, I call this mine 5. Okay, so now we see Google Earth, we have our placemarks here and here. And the placemarks are under the folder. If for, if for some reason the placemarks are not here, if they are here or here or whatever, you can always move the placemarks back into the folder. Okay, so the next step is that you have to export this folder into a KML. To do that, you right click again on the folder and click on Save Place As. Here is very important, you have two options, KML or KM Set. It's important to choose KML. Okay, so I will save this into a folder called mining sites KML. So a folder of a file called mining sites KML. I put it in the desktop. Remember to put it in a folder you you'll find it later. So I save and I have my KML. So now you can go to Collect Earth and in Collect Earth once you have loaded the survey where you can collect you want to collect the data on so for instance I have this survey. So I can go to tools load points from KML. So usually when we change the sampling design we go to tools properties but since this is a special case you will go to lo uh, tools load points from KML 
and then in my desktop I find the KML file that I generated called mining sites mining sites KML click on open now collector asks where I want to place the CSV file that is generated because at the end collector uses CSV files to store the plot locations and properties so I will say that I just want to put the um, CSV file also in the desktop you should put it maybe in a better location and now what happens is that in collector data in this folder in temporary places it should be reloaded and now I have five plots if I go to the first plot second plot maybe it's better you see that in the middle in the center I had the place mark that I added <coughs> and then around it we have the plot if you don't want to see the place mark you may disable it using the tick here so see on the left frame you can tick and untick the um, the KML okay and now you can click on these plots and start collecting data on them you see here the names are not very very complex names but for the IDs they have the name of the place mark and then the an extra suffix added by collector this is just to make sure that the IDs are unique okay so if there are any other questions you remember that uh, we have our support uh, forum always ready to to answer